Shi, definitely long-term veteran of this character, so probably play this matchup a decent amount. I'm not gonna say that like like a lot, a lot, but we're gonna see. It's gonna be great. Yep, Mike Nigigarashi going to stick with the Samus. Uh, so matchup, as we predicted. Uh, and yeah, I'm gonna be interested to see this, if only because, uh, again, we saw Lightning Igarashi earlier. We know just, again, how textbook this Samus is playing, doing a lot of the optimal stuff, really sticking to that game plan. And I'm curious to see, because I don't normally think of Mr. E as like, you know, a crazy tilt the game in a way that you've never seen the game played before. He's also relatively straightforward. So I'm curious to see if this is gonna be a game where, you know, the matchup continues to be played or if any one of them is going to really start trying to play against the player. Right oh, now, that, Mr. Oh, e, okay. forget everything I said. He took a stock in 14 seconds by getting a against big read, so whatever. Samus, by the way. <laughs> no one ever kills Samus in 14 seconds. This character's recovery, insane, super heavy. Doesn't really die at the top that, that easily as well, but that was wild. Mystery getting those conversions way just to, like that. Way to burst out of the gates right there. I mean, that's a, such a momentum turner for the entire set, right? If you're able to take game one, that's really important, and now you're in a big lead, putting on big damage. Mr. E thus far has not had a hard time getting in on the Samus. Couple times has been punished for throwing out moves at bad times, but for the most part, has been able to find his way in. We'll see what the play is here on the ledge trap because Lightning Igarashi plays this better than anybody else I've seen. Yeah, that was crazy. Lep actually had the down smash reaction, but barely missing. It was like a little unfortunate. Great combo conversion, charge shot into the dash attack. Now you're at the ledge. This is where Samus wants to cash shot her kills. Nice Ooh. roll of mystery, immediate roll. Just Throwing off the timing a little bit. Well, and that's something that you have to know uh, against Samus is the exact position where you are allowed to roll past that charge shot because you have to do that immediately. You have to think on it quick because if she charges it up too long, then it's going to hit further and further back on that roll. Exactly. Oh, the fear was going to kill, but not going to get the, the final hit. The, way too much damage on Ooh. Mr. E right now. Lenny Igarage is probably not happy about that. Oh. Can't be great spacing, honestly, on that Zara. Not grabbing the ledge, but does kind of just punch Mr. E away. Nonetheless, Mr. E is the one who continues to be on the offensive. Does just dance right back to center stage. Now trying to put that pressure on, puts himself in a bad spot. Absolutely. Lightning. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And Mr. E definitely kind of did that to himself. Got a little bit too lost in that movement, but now Lightning Igarashi is the one all the way off stage. And Mr. E, let's see how he tries to put the pressure on on this ledge trap. He just waits for a mistake and able to get his big punish. Yeah, extremely good reaction from Mr. E. He's, he's able to get in on uh, Lightning Igarashi so easily. He's near oh, you're not, you're not dead, are you? You're oh. not dead, are you? Oh, you're certainly dead. Unless the nah, recovery is Sam godlike. Is down here? Oh, that's a big drop for Mr. E, because that yeah. could have definitely been the game. And now you're giving Lightning Igarashi a ledge trap, which again, we've talked about it. This is where he plays best. Yeah, definitely when, you, when, when uh, most Samus players just, just know how to play the corner so well. Because that's where they want to cash out all their kills. Nonetheless, and Mr. E has found a couple of openings in those situations. Lightning is able to get back to that side platform, but does take a lot of effort to get off of it. Mr. E, great pressure on there, even parrying that charge shot to keep that shield active, just dancing on the edge of the resources that he has available. But Lightning Igarashi able to do a Houdini act out of the corner. Yeah, that was such a good reaction, Mr. E, but... I don't know how Lightning Igarashi got out of that, but he, did, he was able to do it. Really being wary of those Mr. E edge guards now as oh, well. No. Overusing those double jumps over the platform, though, Mr. E is ready to punish them and the forward air. It is clean enough to take that first game. Mr. E looking excellent. Yeah, okay, like, no one can ever say that, like, they've taken, taken the stock off of Samus for 14 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Like, come on, like, Samus' recovery, ridiculous. Samus, heavy. Samus... Doesn't really get ledge trapped that that hard in situations like that, but that was just such a clean stock. Able to get that. Mystery up 1-0. Lenny Garashi kind of felt pressured a lot by Mystery. Mystery was pressing his buttons. Those juggles were kind of ridiculous, and those reactions were really, 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 really good. Mystery really good. Well, yeah. I, I think we did see a lot of conditioning from Mystery in that game as well. I mean, first of all, I mean, getting out of the gate so quickly that Igarashi didn't even get a chance to set up his own pace to really figure out how he wanted to play the matchup or download Mr. E because Mr. E was playing, I mean, in his face kind of the entire time. Not really what you expect from Lucina, but always hovering around a zone where he's going to be able to throw out one of those sword aerials. And I mean, man, the pressure just kind of made him crumble. And again, that's not normally what we expect yeah, from like Lucina. Yeah, like, I, I didn't expect that. He just came out swinging out, swinging out of the gate and like, Lady Igarashi was like, whoa. 
I was not ready. Slow down, Yeah, pal. like, let me breathe. <laughs> let me breathe. Let me zone you out. Give me some space. Yeah, but Mr. E is just like, nah, I'm in, I'm in there. <laughs> so go to, go to a smaller stage here. We got we got, we got a small battlefield. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the dual platform setup really, really good for Samus, honestly. It gives her options to land, but, uh, you know, by giving her some space, doesn't have a top platform being in the way. You know, as a floaty, uh, landing can be a concern sometimes, but she's so good at covering these platforms, and the ledge trapping gets even more delicious. Oh, Lightning man. Igarashi off to such a hot start here. Like you were saying, textbook. Just everything you see here, every Samus player has done or tries to mimic in general, but Lightning Igarashi playing extremely by the book, super smart, great reactions. Gonna get a kill soon. Oh my Whoa. god, okay. Smash. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, the <laughs> oldest smash for you're dead at zero right there. That's that's actually crazy. I've never really seen somebody fall out of that up B like that, yeah. but. And now you're, now you're to the zone where Sam just throws and start killing and that you'd never want to deal, that, deal mm -hmm. with that ever. See if Mr. E takes to the skies a little bit more. Goes for the ledge trump, but Lightning Igarashi ready for it. Mr. E saying, okay, like, I got to play outside of these ranges. Is able to burst in with that dash attack and hold on just a moment. Actually, might have been a sliding forward tilt. Pivot cancels for the win. Yeah, but right now, Mr. E able, able to answer back a lot. Really, 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 really well placed aerials here. Ooh. Great fair. You're dead. <laughs> 167. How did you not die to Samus? Samus has, Samus' kill power, ridiculous in this game. Great tech chase on the platform. Your face. Oh my god. That one's I'm taking, I think. What is he doing? Mr. E in his face. The movement has been so pristine for Mr. E. He has constantly been in a position that is really hard to hit, but has also been able to put pressure on. High recovery is going to get you killed, but the fact that he is playing with the lead after the start that Lightning Igarashi started this set with is kind of crazy. Yeah, that was almost a zero to like 150, and then he's brought it back, took the first stock. Great. But Mr. E, probably Ooh. really happy about that. Oh my Good god. Good DI out by Mr. E as well to make sure that he doesn't get hit by the grab follow up. That would have done like 50 something percent, and that would have been ridiculous. Now you're not even left versus Samus. Great, let's trap. A nice jab Ooh. one. You're out of there. That mix from Lightning Igarashi, beautiful. See if he can keep up that pressure there. Again, we see him spacing it just so that he can box out that Lucina. And a sweet spot back air gives him a ledge trap opportunity. Have seen him hover around this, oh, this side platform. But like we mentioned earlier, right, Mr. E sees, okay, you're not set up with that charge shot. I'm immediately rolling in to take that space. Yeah, he just does not even want to deal with Samus in the corner. But it, it's hard because, like, if you're, if you're not ready, if you're not if you're not mixing it up, it's really hard to get out of that. But Mr. E able to get out, get center stage back here, wow. you're dead. Oh my god. Mr. Dude, Mr. E's movement is so fast with this character. Like he is we we think about Proto playing this character and he's, he flows like a river. Yes. And Mr. E is like Explosive. a hose at max volume, yes. right? Like he just like, on spray, you know, like ma max max uh got pressure. the cone nozzle and yeah. everything, right? Like that. Exactly. <laughs> oh no, that's so much damage back here, not gonna hit. Spot dodge from Mr. E. That's him trying to play with that defense, but staying up close so that he can immediately oh. bounce back in. Jump? I believe no double jump, but Lightning Igarashi oh. not able to close it out. Probably didn't recognize that, that Mr. E had no double jump, so now Mr. E has it in the lead. He's, he has the positioning. One back and you're dead. Great oh. recovery there. Gosh, he goes so deep, and that quick turnaround with that forward air as oh, well, and, and no and tech on the Dolphin Slash. It ends just the same way it began, Vermillion. It really did. It really does. That is really really hard to react to. So that was really smart mystery. Being like, I gotta press you. This is my opportunity now. I don't want to give this guy another another game. Dealing with another Sam a Samus that has momentum, one of the most annoying things to deal with. So mystery, oh super clean gameplay, able to get the kills when it mattered. And there we go. Really, really solid stuff from him. Again, yeah, Lightning Igarashi just didn't get a whole lot of opportunities to set up that defensive play. Wasn't really super comfortable, I guess, in a lot of the scramble situations that Mr. E was forcing. And, you know, he stumbled over those projectiles a couple of times, ate a couple of combos, but at the end of the day, it really worked out for him because when Mr. E put the pressure on, he just continued to batter away. Yeah, those conversions, the, just everything, the neutral, playing so well. And honestly, the one thing I will give Mr. E the credit for the most is his ability to play scramble